Hey, I'm Michael, and I made a website for my passion project. So here's the homepage for the site, and good website for researchers. did a lot of links to the good website, and John got a good one about the study. So here's an info summary. I thought it was very... Well, it was very hard that other people was in for the people of John Dutton, but he made all of them about John Dutton during the first book that he made every day, which, which got a great hole in the whole entire world that got from other websites and for gave some work on my own words. Uh, I thought it was important to have other people's thoughts, so I put it on there. Right there. So it's in the book. I'm going to feel where I put it in my own words. In 300 BCE, the Sumerians and the Assassins performed writing on clay boards that they would make and the Egyptians wrote hieroglyphs on paper. It's also in 400 CE, books became in the shape of a rectangle, which we still use the exact same shape for books. It's also in the books, all the author that illustrates and that we want to sell their own books that they make, and also the money off their books. And a huge bestseller in the stores. Remember, we are not allowed to be using... Computers right now, since Mr. Solaris or an adult is not Mr. in the room. Oh. John, John, uh, one of the first one to make one. He was on the Koreans in the mid 700s. And that person is John Guttenberg. He is the first one to make a book. And he is visiting Korea to try to make a better life with all his industries in his hands and what he owned in his sack. He found an old printer in the back in a really poor house, which is a stamp maker, and also it was an old print went up on the machine using the mid 1600s and Korean Gazette. And then also newsboys, I want to type or write a poem for the town's daily newspaper, also known as the Gazette, which also people are interested to know what's going on in their town. And they live in their own Gazette, or the writers in the towns of all where the people live. So that's my website, and I'll show you it again. Here, let me go to the front page. It's called bookhistory.weebly.com. So here's the beginning. So that's it. And here's the tabs. Alright, bye guys.